For 100 years, physics has been built on a huge contradiction. I'm serious. It has two completely separate rulebooks that literally hate each other. One for the biggest things you can imagine, and one for the smallest. On one side, you have planets, stars, and entire galaxies following the rules of Einstein. On the other side, you have the insane, bizarre world of atoms and particles, where everything is based on pure chance. For an entire century, these two sets of rules have been at war. If you try to use the rules for gravity on tiny particles, or the other way around, the math literally breaks and screams at you that you're missing something huge. This has been one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in all of science. But what if I told you that scientists just found an insane new clue? A secret language of geometry that connects gigantic galaxies and tiny atoms in a way no one ever thought was possible. We haven't won the game yet, but we might have just found the cheat code. And it could literally change everything we know about reality. Modern civilization is built on the ability to control electrons. From the first transistors to today's microprocessors, technological progress has relied on understanding how electric charges move through matter. For much of the 20th century, this understanding rested comfortably within classical and semi-classical physics. Electrons were treated as particles flowing through circuits, occasionally exhibiting wave-like behavior, but largely obeying intuitive rules. As components shrank toward atomic dimensions, this picture began to fracture. At nanoscopic scales, electrons do not behave like tiny balls rolling through wires. They interfere with themselves, tunnel through barriers, and respond collectively to their environment. These effects are not marginal. They dominate the behavior of matter. This realization led to the emergence of quantum materials, systems in which quantum mechanics is not a correction to classical physics, but its foundation. Superconductors, topological materials, and exotic oxide interfaces belong to this category. In these systems, electrons form highly correlated states, behaving less like independent particles and more like members of a tightly choreographed ensemble. Understanding such materials requires abandoning the idea that electrons move through a flat, featureless landscape. Instead, researchers are discovering that electrons navigate a complex quantum terrain, one whose shape profoundly influences their motion. This is where geometry re-enters the story. To grasp the idea of quantum geometry, it helps to think in metaphor. Imagine walking across a perfectly flat desert. The shortest path between two points is a straight line. Now imagine traversing a landscape of hills and valleys. Even if you attempt to walk straight, the terrain forces your path to curve. In Einstein's universe, space-time is that terrain and gravity shapes it. In quantum materials, electrons move through a different kind of landscape, not physical space, but quantum state space. The structure of this space determines how electron wave functions evolve as electrons move through a material. The mathematical object that describes this landscape is known as the quantum metric. It measures how far apart quantum states are from one another and how rapidly they change. This distance is not measured in meters, but in how much an electron's quantum character shifts as conditions change. The quantum metric was introduced theoretically about 20 years ago. From the beginning, it was clear that it could influence a wide range of physical phenomena, including electrical transport, optical responses, and superconductivity. Yet for many years, it remained an abstract construct, real in equations but elusive in experiments. Physicists knew it should exist, much as Einstein knew gravitational waves must exist long before they were detected. The challenge was finding a way to observe its effects directly. That challenge has now been met by researchers from the University of Geneva, working with collaborators from the University of Salerno and the CNR Spin Institute in Italy. Their work focused on a well-known quantum system, the interface between two oxide materials, strontium titanate and lanthanum aluminate. Individually, both materials are electrical insulators. When brought together, however, they form a thin, two-dimensional layer where electrons can move freely. This interface hosts a dense electron gas that exhibits a range of unusual quantum behaviors, making it an ideal platform for exploring subtle geometric effects. By applying strong magnetic fields and carefully tracking how electrons responded, 
the researchers observed distortions in electron trajectories that defied conventional explanations. The paths electrons followed were bent in ways that could not be accounted for by known forces alone. The missing ingredient was geometry. The observed behavior matched predictions based on the quantum metric. The electrons were moving as though the quantum space they inhabited was curved. Just as light bends when traveling through curved space-time, electrons were bending as they navigated curved quantum geometry. This marked one of the clearest experimental demonstrations that the quantum metric is not merely a theoretical curiosity, but a real, measurable property of matter. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond a single experiment. If quantum geometry influences electron motion, then it plays a role in determining a material's electrical conductivity, optical response, and energy transport properties. One immediate consequence is improved material characterization. By accounting for the quantum metric, scientists can describe electronic behavior with greater precision than ever before. This opens the door to designing materials with tailored properties, materials engineered not just at the level of atoms, but at the level of quantum geometry. The impact is particularly significant for technologies operating at extremely high frequencies, such as terahertz electronics. In this regime, conventional models often fail and quantum effects dominate. Understanding geometric contributions could enable faster, more efficient devices. Superconductivity is another area where quantum geometry may prove decisive. Superconductors rely on delicate quantum coherence between electrons. If geometry influences how these states form and persist, it could guide the search for new superconducting materials. Perhaps most importantly, the research shows that the quantum metric is an intrinsic property of many materials, not an exotic exception. Geometry is becoming a fundamental descriptor of matter alongside symmetry, composition, and dimensionality. While quantum geometry is reshaping our understanding of solid-state materials, a parallel story is unfolding in the realm of ultra-cold atomic physics. At the Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics, researchers have been studying gases of rubidium atoms cooled to temperatures near absolute zero and arranged in optical lattices, artificial crystals made of light. In this environment, atoms behave in profoundly quantum ways. By exciting them into so-called Rydberg states, scientists dramatically increase the size of the atoms, turning them into giants highly sensitive to electric fields and to one another. What emerged was unexpected. The Rydberg excitations were not localized on individual atoms. Instead, they spread across several atoms, forming collective entities known as superatoms. Each superatom behaved as a single quantum object, encompassing many particles. When multiple superatoms formed, they arranged themselves into precise geometric patterns. Three formed triangles, four formed squares, five formed pentagons. The orientations of these shapes varied randomly from one experiment to the next, revealing their quantum nature. Unlike classical objects, these geometric configurations existed in superposition occupying all possible orientations until measured. This behavior reflects a deep principle. Quantum many-body systems naturally organize into ordered structures governed by geometry. The superatoms behave like a kind of quantum crystal, an exotic phase of matter that had never been directly observed before. Crucially, measurements showed that these systems evolved much faster than classical models predicted, consistent with genuinely quantum dynamics. This suggests that they could serve as building blocks for future quantum computers, where information is processed through collective quantum states rather than individual particles. The connection between these atomic systems and quantum materials is profound. In both cases, geometry governs behavior. In solids, it bends electron paths. In atomic gases, it organizes collective excitations. In both, geometry becomes a resource, something to be controlled, engineered, and exploit it. If you found this breakthrough fascinating, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the most important discoveries in modern physics. A new video is coming soon, exploring a groundbreaking revelation about photons that could change how we understand light itself. Don't miss it. Join the community and be part of the next scientific breakthrough.